guys what's going on j t and j performance just a uh, little update on nova on this cloudy rainy day here in florida uh me and tom we were like in the home stretch with this car as you guys can see we got the front clip on headlights are in grills in bumper turn signals uh all new moldings and chrome uh, under the hood cleaned up I got the battery disconnected because we let the car sit, you know, but the uh, brand new quick fuel carburetor, 406 small block Chevy, power brakes, uh, four wheel disc power brakes, all new brake lines through the whole car, uh, all new rubber lines through the whole car. The front end is all rebuilt with urethane bushings, uh, all new fuel line, front to back, brand new fuel tank, high volume pump. One wire alternator, ICT billet, uh, alternator bracket. Awesome if you don't have any accessory holes in the heads on your motor like this one. This motor has 375 horse camel hump heads off of a uh, 60s vet. <clears throat> when I ran the numbers. Uh, so yeah, so no accessory holes. So ICT billet makes an alternator bracket that goes on either side of the motor uh, to bolt your alternator up uh, when you have no accessory holes. Uh, solid motor mounts, uh, solid tranny mount, the frame is tied together, as you can see it's got a cage. Uh, let's see, what else did we do so far? Uh, we're starting the interior, four speed car, shifters right, right here, right here. Uh, just a quick set of autometer gauges, nothing fancy, I rebuilt the cluster, uh, took it all apart, cleared it, I put a shift works tack in the dash. Uh, LED did all so it works good uh, lights up nice and bright not like back in the day uh, Cars all dynamated or kill matted uh, As you can see we're doing red rug Tommy's doing a really great job of cutting it around the cage and hiding the seams He hasn't even glued them down yet, and he's done a great job uh, He made some custom-made kick panels here for the front I uh, can't use the factory ones because of the roll cage they stick out too far so we had to make some custom ones I uh, got the back seat in the car, uh, reupholstered, it's got a wrinkle in it, but as soon as it goes out in the sun a few times, that'll go away. Uh, what else? Got the rear door panels on the car. Uh, that's the steering wheel we're going with, screaming 70s, I love it. Uh, Tommy made a little billet aluminum filler plate for the dash, I think he's going to take it to a shop and write Nova or put a bow tie in it or something. Uh, made a filler panel for the vent and the dash over there for the AC because the car has no AC. Glove box is out getting painted. Uh, all new wind lace on the car all the way through. New quarter jam wind lace with the end caps. Uh, all new door felts. Everything's new on this car. Everything. Uh, new tail lights, emblems, bumpers, uh, door rubbers. Uh, as you can see, Tommy custom built a package tray. I just bought, actually bought the radiator uh, gas cap for it. Uh, Tommy built a custom package tray for it. Sorry for the camera there blurring out. Uh, but yeah, just a quick catch up. You can see the, the door rubbers are new. They're tight. There we go. So yeah, car's looking really good. It's coming down the home stretch. I mean... It's been three years since we painted it, five years since we did the start of the restoration on it. When we got this car, all it was was quarter panels on the roof and an open 12 bolt diff. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't open. It had 588 gears in it. They were gonna eighth mile the car uh, when I got it. Uh, the guy just lost interest in it. It was some Porsche guy, lost interest in it. He put up a three by five card in a speed shop that used to be in Pompano, Murray's and uh, I saw it on there and I ended up buying the car for, I think, I think I paid a thousand dollars for it when back then. So you ain't getting it. <laughs> you ain't getting a Nova for a thousand dollars nowadays, son. But uh, yeah, so might as well take a few pictures underneath. Let me see if I get underneath the car, show you. The car is just as clean underneath as it is on top. As you can see, all new spindles, brakes dust shields everything everything is new on this car there's not a bolt that we didn't touch that hasn't been replaced 
Uh, let's see. I guess see if I can get a shot underneath the side here. <sighs> Might be a little dark. As you can see, all new fuel line, three ace. Frame connectors, whole bottom of the car has been chucked bed linered. You already think bushings all throughout, even in the back of the car. Uh, let's see. Uh, see if I can get a shot of the back. Might be a little dark. There you go. New fuel tank. Four wheel disc brakes in the back. 12 bolt uh, rebuilt. We rebuilt it here in the shop with 411 gears and a posi. Uh, brand new GM shocks. Leaf springs. Like I said, all the bushings done. Uh, this car has its original quarter panels on it. And uh, quarter panels and chunk pan. So yeah, it was a pretty clean car to start with, but we just made it that much better. So yeah, that's about it, guys. As you can see, we're in the home stretch with this car. I mean, let me get a shot down the side of it. <laughs> I mean, look how straight that car is. And it's dirty as hell from sitting in the shop. You can't even see the body lines in the doors or in the fenders when, the, when you're up against it. A lot of block sanding, guys. So, yeah. Just wanted to give you a quick video update on the Nova. Just coming down the home stretch, guys. Then after this, I think... Uh, we're gonna take a break, clean the shop out. Uh, Tommy's actually getting another Nova from uh, a departed friend of his, uh, who was a good friend of uh, him and a couple other guys that I'm friends with. Uh, I knew him, but I wasn't tight with him like uh, Tommy and Dominic and uh, our buddy Bobby was. So they're getting the car uh, kind of at a sentimental value and it's just gonna sit here in the shop on the other side until we get to it. It's a Nova just like this one, but uh, back half car so yeah that'll be sweet and uh that's it so when this car gets done that car will be in here but we probably won't do any work to it we got tommy's tahoe to get ready to uh make it a daily so he can uh, lay up his white truck and do some work to it and he has a backup for it right now because uh, he wants to buy a new truck but there's nothing new out there so so yeah so basically his his daily will be Got a shop here. This 99 or 98 Tahoe we bought for 500 bucks up in West Palm Beach. Not running, and then uh, me and him ended up getting it running. So yeah, he wants to you know fix the dent in the door there and uh, clean it up and make it a daily. Buy some rims and tires for it. It runs really well now. Actually, we just got to do like the basic maintenance stuff on it because it's been sitting so long. So yeah, so that's about it. Guys, quick update on what's going on at the shop and uh, with the Nova. And uh, I guess that's it. Take it easy, be safe, and uh, talk to you soon.